हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोना सी अ प्रॉब्लम रीशेड्यूल मीटिंग्स फॉर मैक्सिमम फ्री टाइम नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल सी द फ्री टाइम टू वर्जन व्हिच इज अ वेरी गुड वेरिएशन फॉर इट बट बिफोर दैट यू विल हैव टू वॉच दिस करंट वीडियो नाउ sorry apologies i was not able to bring it yesterday because there was a lot of music and already i have got two copyright strike from t series previously because of songs that's really again uh, the idea and what i'm saying about you can just check out the community post i'll link that in the description also now sorry in the comment section also it simply says that you are given an integer even time and uh, right that says okay um up till that event time the events will happen again up till that event time only the events will happen up till 5 up till 10 as you can see up till 10 up till 5 the events will happen what what events are happening the event is simply that we have some specific duration where the event will occur up to that time now we have two integer arrays start time and end time and each of having length n so both will have fixed length for this ultimately represent these are the starting and the ending time of n not overlapping non overlapping meetings where the ith meeting occurs at this corresponding start and time and end time so imagine you have two meetings because the rsi is 2 so imagine you have two meetings first meetings start is 1 end is 2 1 2 2 second meeting start is 3 end is 5 3 to 5 so you have n meetings you have the corresponding event time and this is how it is given to you again make sure these are not overlapping so you don't have to worry about okay if the event is overlapping or not no Let's read the next part. Next part says that uh, you can reschedule at most k meetings by moving their start time while maintaining the duration. So meeting will remain. So like this, this length of the block represents the meeting length. So length will remain as is. It's just that I can move around this meeting. I can move around this meeting. Now the specific part which they are mentioning is the relative order of all meetings should stay same and they should not. like always remain non overlapping which means that i can move around but i cannot put this green block after the yellow block which means ordering should always remain same that i am you know shifting around these shifting around these and green should come first then yellow same way green first then yellow then pink these can be you know horizontally shifted but the order of them will remain same this is what they are mentioning ultimately you have to return the maximum amount of free time possible after rearranging the meetings which is shifting the meetings and again you can shift at most k meetings now let's see let's see the example so obviously we have only two meetings so let's shift them so i will shift let's say this block because obviously this block if i shift it i can shift it but technically it makes sense to shift this to the left shift this to the right and then in the in the middle i will have the free space if i shift this to the left what will happen this will come here it will remain as is so now i will have 2 as the space answer is 2 okay let's see next one now if i have all these blocks obviously this is already extreme this is already extreme maybe i can shift this shift and make it to the next extreme how many i can shift i can shift at most one and i am shifting also at most one this is the yellow one i am shifting up when he will shift either he can shift here or here let's shift let's say here so it will come here the green one is here the pink one is here now 1 2 3 4 5 Six. I have six as the free space. Make sure you have to find out the maximum amount of free space possible. So out of multiple spaces, let's say if there could have been other blocks. So this is one space. This is one space. But this is the maximum amount of space which is which I can get. Okay. Last one. Uh, this is one example in which I have all the meetings from zero to five. So there is no space possible. Now let's start off. by again although you must have simply observed one thing but let's start off with the bigger example because this is what i like always bigger example and in the same example i will take it for next variation of also next variation is 3 4 5 0 like 3 4 4 0 problem in this variation it simply says that you had meetings given and obviously when there are meetings there are some gaps and you have to maximize these gaps the the let the ask from you is you can change or you can you know shift or slide at most two meetings now my first question is what two meetings or if you can give me any idea of how these two meetings would look like okay let's take randomly if i let's say choose these two meetings right i want to shift them i want to shift them obviously now your question will be are in uh, why did you 
choose these? No, I did not choose. I'm just trying to choose anyone. So let's say, okay, let's say if you are arg arguing, then let's choose these two meetings. Cool. Then what happened? Okay, this meeting is the one. Now I can only slide it left or right. That's it. So what will happen? If this meeting will slide leftwards, obviously this M2 will come here. Now I will have the gap here and gap here. Obviously if this will slide, this gap needs to come somewhere. Like it is the same, same thing. If let's say there's an empty space, you have a block. If you slide this block, so obviously if it is M1 and if it is G1, right? This is the gap one, this is the meeting one. So G1 plus M1 was some space, some space S space. If the space is still intact, if I'm shifting this meeting, which is M1, then obviously the other space will again become a G1, right? Ultimately. So it simply says that if M2 has shifted, obviously in his place, it will put up a place of G1. Remaining space at G1. And again, G2 remains intact. So what happened? Because of sliding of M2 onto any of its side, again, we make sure I cannot put it anywhere like this. No, I can only slide it left or right. So by sliding it on one of its sides, I achieved a gap of G1 plus G2. Earlier, the gap was either G2 or G3. But now, because of this sliding, I achieved this gap. Okay, let's try the same thing here. When I did the same thing here, obviously, I will achieve a gap of G4 plus G5. Now, my question is, you know the gaps were always positive, right? You know that you have to maximize your answer. But here, when I say maximize the answer, I mean not the total gap sum, because it will be constant always. You have to maximize one of the gaps to be as max as possible. You realized with one shifting of meeting, you achieved a gap in its corresponding gap sum. So why you are giving the corresponding other, you know, like this gap of G4, why you are giving to other meeting? No, give it to him only, which means that if rather I would have choose this meeting, let's say M1, which means just beside it. So what will happen? Now these two meetings are together. Now they can shift together. So what I will do? I will shift. Let's say if this guy shifted on the right side, same way this guy shifted on the right side, or maybe you can say shift on the left side. Again, shifting both of them together is actually the idea now because I want to sum up the gaps. What will happen? Let's see. If I shift this on the, let's say, right side, so this M1 will come here and then I will have a G1 gap. Let's say if this shift to the uh, right side, then obviously I will have a G2 gap, right? A G2 gap. And then as it shifts, so M3 will, sorry, M2 will come here and then the gap will become G3. So what happened? What happened is I now am able to achieve G1 plus G2 plus G3, which is much higher, obviously much higher or higher, I should say, than G2 plus G3 only. So with this current thing that we can slide only left and right, we observe that it is always, always, always beneficial to choose these K meetings consecutively. Okay, this is the first observation. Now, let's find the answer. So what we like, okay, if we shift these two meetings, again, when I said these two meetings, it means I can choose firstly these two meetings, then these two meetings, then these two meetings, then these two meetings, and so on and so forth. Isn't it the same problem by saying, okay, you have a window of meetings. Now you have to choose, okay, you know, to, you have to choose two consecutive meetings, which is a window of size two, you have to choose. And with that window, when you will shift that window, ultimately get the maximum result. What the maximum result is? Maximum result is the sum of gaps. So it is nothing but sum in a window. But again, sum of what? Sum of gaps window of length k length k but this window of length k is of meetings is of meetings okay so there's a small caveat here that uh, you are finding some of gaps right you're taking a window of meetings so technically if i plan to apply a sliding window approach which i will have to because you know that if you will take k meetings consecutively and try the entire k combinations, consecutive combinations, it will be n into k in worst case by a brute force, which will obviously will not work. So obviously the standard approach here is sliding window. If you don't know what sliding window is, just come here, go to practice problems. If you don't practice sliding window, no worries. Just come down and go to sliding window. Then again, start from here, easy, then medium, then hard. Very less problems. This will cover your entire sliding window approach. So sliding window will help me. But the issue with the sliding window only is that how and again when I say how I mean when we are taking the windows of meetings and taking a sum of gaps 
that's not possible because obviously if i say sliding window which means okay this is the normal approach of sliding window take an array take this window slide it okay then take this window then take this window now i am technically given meetings but i am taking this this sum should be of gaps so okay no worries what i am asked to do let's do the same thing let's take the gap so i will make again because i was given the meetings itself but no i will make gaps if i have obviously if i have n meetings i will have n plus 1 gaps as you can see 1 2 3 4 5 five meetings gaps are 1 2 sorry 3 4 5 and 6 right so if i have n meetings it will have n plus 1 gaps the first gap will be this one right starting from the start index next gap will be from the next meeting start to previous meeting end right this one same way i will continue making it now when this is made now i know that i can replace you know i have i can swap two meetings if i can swap two meetings and i, I realize also if i can swap two meetings which means my gap i can take these three gaps as summation so what is now now the task is that in the gap array or in the gap nums array make sure to take the sliding window of length 3 and maximize that length so i will take this length 3 the current sum the current sum is 3 4 5 5 okay so maximum length so far is 5 let's slide the window slide the window now the sum just add a 1 subtract a 1 currently it is also 5 maximum is also 5 okay move ahead now it is 3 oh 3 okay 3 2 3 4 it should be 4 sorry yeah if it is 3 ah uh, no it is not maximum okay slide it again it is again 5 okay so so far sorry 5 uh, it, it's it's 4 so so far the maximum length is 4 and that's how i can achieve my answer cool let's see the code and again i will give you a quick dry run also uh, parallelly uh the idea here is simply have a gap array free gap array initially in the very beginning i you will see this is the first gap which i have to put up so i take the initial gap uh, gap vector free gaps vector and i just simply put up a one one is nothing but start of the first meeting from zero so start of the first meeting start start time zero from zero will be start time zero minus zero which will be only start time of zero will be my first gap this gap then i went ahead with all the you know all the corresponding start times which means i will go on to the next meeting next meeting is this one i equal to one what 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 it will say it will say my meeting start and the previous meetings end this is the gap so from i equal to one the start minus previous meetings end time will give me the gap so this is the gap i can have and i'll same keep on doing up till the last meeting but you will see there can be a final gap also what it is from the end time to the last meetings end so from the end time to the last meetings end just get the final gap now you have all the corresponding gap all the corresponding gap which you wanted and again now you know that if you have to take k meetings you have to slide k meetings which means that you have to take a k plus one window of gaps so I will take a I will take a window of k plus one and I will find maximum free duration in that specific gap window. Again, current sum for the window sum. Then I will I will start off from i equal to zero. Again, it is zero, one, two, three, four, five. Up till this index, I have to simply keep on taking the sum. So in my current sum, in my current sum, I will keep on adding the free gaps of i. Again, in the free gaps sum, I will simply add one plus two plus one okay four now this is i have reached this index as i go on to the index i is equals to k plus one again here the k plus one will be nothing but three right so when i have reached i is you know equal to k plus one or you know even more then now the current window in consideration is this one which means i have to subtract this value and add this value okay simply firstly add this value so i will add you know free gaps of i the current index i i will simply add it one then subtract this what is this what is this index if this is i right and i know the window length is k plus one so this will be if i is three k plus one so it will be i minus k plus one and i have to subtract it so i will simply subtract this so subtract i minus k plus one and again only and only when you have 
past the first window and that's how you know you can do a simple sliding window again if you don't know what sliding window is just go and do the simple practice problems for sliding window then obviously this is for the current window you have got the corresponding result in o of one time but uh, you know that you have to find the maximum duration and that maximum duration you have to simply maximize the current sum or the current window sum and get your answer now because of this all these things because the only thing which you're doing is taking the free time array time will be o of n because no sorting nothing is required uh, space will also be o of n because you are building a free gaps array from, from your own sorry cool i hope you guys got it again apologies i could not be yesterday because there was a very loud music very 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 loud and i could not stop it bye bye take care again next video next part will be coming right now